Hey everybody, this is Kagato, and I am the final boss, and welcome to Dread Out. I have been waiting for this game for so very long. Unfortunately, I found out that this isn't a full game, this is only an episodic game, so... I don't have the full game, and the rest of it isn't out yet. Only Chapter 1 is available. But, that just extends the life of the game, and I will be Let's Playing all of it as it releases. So I will be doing Chapter 1. Now, I found out that there are some very easily missable Easter eggs in this game that have to do with me doing something before I actually take off into the main game, so that's what I'm going to do first. And then we'll actually go into the main part of the game. From what I understand, the Easter eggs are interesting, fun, and scary, and also includes a secret boss that you will miss out on as soon as you enter the main building. So I'm gonna do all that for the first run as like a nice little sneak peek into the world of Dreadout. Those of you that like Fatal Frame are going to love this. All right, let's go on ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do a new game over my test run. I was doing a stability test to make sure everything was working okay. So here we go. I'm gonna name it Kakato. Well, I should probably do a Kakato's Let's Play in case I want to start a new file somewhere. There we go. Oh yeah, I got my controller here. I will be using a controller for this, however the mouse and keyboard are available in case I need to use them. I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it! <laughs> okay, don't be afraid to open doors. Yes, this is very much like Fatal Frame, so the monsters and enemies are going to be ghosts. And as many of you probably know by now, ghosts scare me more than anything else. The reason being is because they are unpredictable, they are hard to deal with, and they could be outright terrifying. And seeing that this is an Asian-style game, well, Indonesian to be technical, but there's plenty of Asian flair going on, it's going to probably deal with very, very slow build-ups, but strong payoffs. Unlike the cheap jump scare here and there, like some of those indie horror games that you can download for free do. So, hopefully, everything works out in the end. So as soon as this loading screen shows up, or finishes, I should say, some ghosts can only be seen through Linda's camera. Ooh, I like that. Invisible ghosts until the camera's brought up. I like that. I like it. Be sure to save your favorite image. I never worry about saving images to the gallery. What am I going to do? Show my friends, hey guys, look at the ghost picture I made in this game. <laughs> Here we go. Liramu tu makeng sirno Ojo tangi kan mukuli oh, Got some frame rate issues going on here. We got some kids fighting each other in the back. Don't wanna live without your love, without what? your smile, cause I know I love you. What? When did this turn into a high school anime? I've been robbed! It's really an anime! No! Are you sure we're going the right way, ma'am? I think so. But how did the road suddenly get so bad? It's just like the road by our school. <laughs> hey, watch out! What? What is it now? No! <gasps> yeah, hey, watch out. I'm pretty sure you can probably see... Since I have actually gotten this far in my little... T <laughs> she just closed the door on him! <laughs> I just noticed that. Yes. The bridge is out. So that was a very anime opening. I think I really like that. So this is our main character, Linda, and before we go anywhere, I have costumes unlocked. So let's see what we got. 
Let's see, so we kind of got the punk rebel look. Not bad, not bad. Kind of more of my taste. Let's uh, see what else we've got. Is that the red dress that lady was wearing? Yeah, doesn't really suit her best. Let's see what else we got. Oh ho! What have we here? I'm liking this one. I'm liking that one. I think I might stick with that one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, don't mind me, guys. I'm just changing clothes. Yeah, you all keep on staring at the bridge. I'm gonna just keep changing clothes. Alright, yeah, this is about as far as I got. I want to make sure everything was running correctly and the controls were working, so... Whew, let's see what goes on. Let's see what happens. Um, as you all are probably noticing, the graphics are not fantastic. But this was a very low-budget game, so I'm cutting it some slack. I mean, it was low-budget, and it was only $13 for this. And every update afterwards is going to be free. So, $13 for this is really not that bad. It's kind of like an HD version of a PS2 game. Which is kind of what it reminds me of. Anyway, I'm done stalling. Let's go on ahead and get started. Hello? Hello? Okay. You did. Oh! Um, Miss Siska? Where are we? I really wasn't expecting there to be a bridge here. That complicates things a bit. Hey, Miss Siska! Are you listening? Stop Shut up, kid! Ignoring me! Try to think! Hang on a minute, Sal. Technically, we shouldn't be too far from home. But... Where is this exactly? So... What now? Oh. Actually, Miss Siska, what we should have done was taken a left turn initially, turned right at the intersection, and then went straight before turning around and making a left instead of a right. <laughs> know it all? Blabbermouth. Excuse me? Guys, hey. Please, just calm down, okay? Jeez. Whoa. This place is so awesome. This... Oh, man. Cool. This is... So... How do we get over there? There's gotta be a way somewhere. <laughs> okay. What is that derp face he's got going on? Ah, uh, well, I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture anyway. Click. Gotcha. This is such a freaking slice of life anime gone wrong. I love it. I mean, it's so cheesy, but it's good. It's like deadly premonition. So bad, it's glorious. I love this. All right. Oh, I can talk to people. Um, press the E key, but I don't. I'm not using my keyboard, so I'll press A. God damn! What a wreck. With a bridge that size, this is a disaster. Well, this is just great. Huh. It's kind of like a horror movie, isn't it? Oh, you know, the first one to die is usually a perky girl, just like you, Sally. <laughs> Better be careful. <laughs> what? That is so not funny! If I die, I am totally going to haunt you! Well, as long as the ghost looks like you, I won't be complaining. <laughs> I like this dude! Ugh, as if. In your dreams, pervert. I like this dude! What's his name? Can I talk to you again? No? Damn it! I like this guy! He's a smartass, but he's funny! I like him! What are we supposed to do now? Uh, oh, I can talk to you Dad? again. Dad, come on, Dad, pick up. Where are you? Why won't you just pick up the phone? Just pause and freeze right in the middle of your animation. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta point this out. The animation is kind of bad for these characters, but you know what? I'm not really caring. Ah, voicemail. I'm really not caring. What I will say, though, is the voice acting is really good. I'm liking this. Huh? What is it, Lynn? Uh, that is a huge mouth, dude. Hold on a sec. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, he needs to go pee in the bushes. How about you? Hey, Lynn. 
Take my picture. Ooh, okay. And ready? One, two. Oh, you want to pose? Gotcha! Oh, yeah. I, I want to lower the camera! There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna let you continue that weird whistling. Wait, why do I have a flashlight out? Put that away. Still, where exactly are we? I don't know, but uh, how about you and I ditch these kids? Wait a minute, I'm playing as a female, aren't I? So how about you and I ditch these kids and uh, maybe go find a tree somewhere? Hmm. She's thinking about it. She's contemplating. Let me try checking the GPS. I could have sworn. No, I'm positive I took the right road. Well, that's really strange. This town isn't showing up on the map at all. Oh, the horror cliches. The phone won't work. A place in the middle of nowhere, not on any map. A bunch of kids, and maybe one adult. Oh, the cliches are everywhere. I love it! What are you doing? Wait. Uh oh. Nice little Gumby slide there, dude. Well, looks like we're on an adventure! Yeah, I kind of took my time there. I'm going to try and speed things up a little bit. I'm just kind of getting my bearings and talking to everyone because I freaking love these guys. Already, I like all of them. We, we got the jokester, which is right in front of me. We got the jock guy way in front. We got the prissy girl over here. The daddy issues, I suppose. The hot teacher. And I'm going to assume the girl next door best friend person. There we go. We made it to the town-ish area. Alright, now what? What do you got to say? Hello? Take your picture while you're yawning. Damn it, I missed! Well, this is incredibly odd. It looks almost as if the name was deliberately smudged off. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh! It had to be on purpose. I wonder why. Hmm. Salamai. Da Tang D. Right, This place is super creepy. Look, I'm already getting goosebumps. Why do we have to go in here anyway? Quit crying! Be a big girl! Can't we just go home already? There's no way a natural disaster caused this. A lot of the buildings are still intact, see? Looks like we've got ourselves a mystery gang! Jinkies! And before I do anything else... Come on, quit fooling around. Let's just go back, Had to! Okay? Don't judge me! You're right, Sal. Let's just grab the others. What the hell was that? Oh, objective updated. No, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, was that a cow? Did I stumble across a cow? Oh, there's a whole lot of nothing around here. Aha! Let's see what's in here. I found something! Soldier's medal. A medal given to a dedicated soldier named... Oh, these are the soldier medals I read about. If you get all three of these, then you unlock the secret boss. And what was that little jerk movement that you did? I'm gonna keep my eye on you, creepy little girl. Oh, are they talking over here? I know, and I've tried. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's all. Well, to start with, I'm sure you have interests or, or passions you could explore. And just so you know, whatever you decide, I know that your father is a very considerate person. Okay, I hope you're right. Starting to think maybe she was born in a rich family or something. That's, uh, once again, her father was brought up. This is practically a ghost town. 
Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wow, can you believe it? Gas here used to only be seven cents. Wow, that's it? Hmm. A town like this left abandoned. What's wrong with our government anyway? Seven cents? Seriously? Premium? Fifteen hundred? That's not so well. The closest thing to seven cents is the seven fifty right there, but that's for solar. I get that uh, makes sense. Makes sense. I'm gonna look up here, and I'm blocked. Wait, what's that? Oh, I can't go there from here, but I can go up from this way. I see something. That might be another metal. Might be another metal. Or medal, medallion, yes! A medal given to a dedicated soldier named Juno, or Jono. Jono? Danny? Phil? Okay, we got a place over here. This place is huge! Man! I'm gonna spend an entire episode just exploring this place before anything happens. Nah, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm actually gonna record some good, juicy stuff before I cut it off. What the hell is that? Turning up the volume because I can't hear. Wait, what's this? I see something shiny. At last, a new life in a new place. I think I'll enjoy living here. Everything seems so simple and calm. The locals are very friendly too. And it helps to see a lot of foreigners around. I was lucky enough to have found a place for rent immediately and at an incredibly affordable price. My landlord told me that this town went through quite a lot a few years back. Floods, massive landslides, fires. It sounds pretty rough, but the people seem to have handled, themse handled themselves if, uh, well enough. I'll start work at the public infirmary tomorrow. Hope everything goes well. Yep, looks like everything went perfectly well. <laughs> Is that bamboo? Yes, that's bamboo. I'm getting stuck on bamboo. Wait, what's that? I see something. Aha! Karis? This object is flowing with mystical energy. I found something! Or other. I don't know what it is, and why is the screen getting all blue? Oh, wait, it... Oh, when the screen turns blue, that means there's something I can interact with. Okay, that'll help me out a little bit. Because I've been noticing that shows up anytime I'm about to pick up something. Alright, so, I'll keep that- oh, I got a stamina meter, okay. So, note to self. If the screen starts turning blue, there's something to investigate! If there's nothing there, you're wasting your time! So, I think we've spent enough time here at the cafe, diner, coffee shop, record store, place, named... God Store? God Store? Sultan Argon 09 God Store Electric Addiction. I have no idea what this place is. I'm so confused. Wait, what's that? Aha! Oh, that's another medal! A medal give it. Yes! I got all three medals, so I can fight the boss now. Everyone's kind of gathering up over here. Alright, I'll see what else I can find when I go out at night, because that's when I'm supposed to go. That must be the main area, okay. Anybody have anything to say? No? No? You? No? No? Okay, fine. I'll go on by myself, you jerks. That was a long intro. Hey, doesn't that seat look exactly like the one we used to hang out on in elementary school? Generic bench! Let's sit there for a bit. Generic bench beside school. Looks so the same. Oh, so the same. Reminds me of the first time we met. <laughs> you still remember, don't you? Oh, I see. Typical girl time. <laughs> Donnie? Hey, guys. We're about to check out the inside. Wanna come? His name is Yayan. Uh, what the fuck? Maybe later. 
Okay, you're lost. <laughs> she just slapped her! Hey, <laughs> what the crap? Who's running off to? <sighs> you two, stay here, okay? Where are hey, we going be now? Careful. <laughs> I still need a massage. I love yeah. this game! I remember the weather was cloudy. Just like this. I love this game already! Our ride never showed up. We clicked right away, didn't we? We clicked right away, didn't we? <laughs> wow, these girls just keep beating each other up. Do you remember to be in Girl Scouts together? Oh, who was that one teacher? He disguised himself as a pochong. Oh, I was so freaked out. But you weren't even phased. <laughs> and you threw a rock at him. No, it was more like the size of a boulder. <laughs> Come to think of it, you were always kind of like my personal bodyguard. Not for free, though. Right, sis? <laughs> hey, I haven't called you sis in a long time. Thank you for watching Exposition Theater! Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah! Fake out! Hold on. They've been in there for a really long time. We should probably go check on them. We've been out here talking amongst ourselves for hours, even though you don't say anything. What's wrong, Lynn? Shouldn't we be catching up to them? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this place. So do I. That's why I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to go back to the creepy town. Sis... I don't feel so good. All right. So. Uh, it's now dark. And before we can proceed into the actual main game, I've got to go in there. Back into the town. From what I understand, it's terrifying. <laughs> Let's do this! We're gonna just take it slow. Take it slow. Let's see. The secret boss is by the fountain or pillar or whatever that we were close to. Or that was close to here. So I should be getting my first battle here in a moment. From what I understand, it's very similar to Fatal Friend. When they get close to your camera, that's when you can deal damage. Alright. Oh my goodness. This is tense, man. Flies, go away! What? Whoa! What was that? What was- Hello? There you are! I see you! Okay. Whoa! I like the battle music! Work- work like Fatal Frame! Work like- it works just like Fatal Frame! Okay. But when I take a picture, he doesn't back up. Uh... Okay, that must mean that he's taking damage. Uh, oh, what was that? Oh, there's two of them! Oh, there's two of them! Oh, there's two of them! And I got knocked down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah! I can take double shots? Maybe? Back up, shoot, back up, shoot. I'm spamming that thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I got hit again. Okay, I gotta be, gotta be more careful. Oh, I got one. Okay, you're next. Come on, dude. I can back up faster than, well, I guess I can't back up faster than you can walk. But I can certainly keep doing this. <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Is there any more? Is there 
there any more? I like the jam that they got going on for the battle music. I wonder if that's gonna be like for all the fights. Any ghosts that I can't see unless I have my camera out? Oh! What was that? Oh god! I saw that! Oh god! Huh! Who? Whoa! Uh, oh god! Uh, I know you're out there! I know you're out there! Where are you? Where are you? I saw you! Uh, what's that? What's, what's that? Oh, that's a sign fell down. I know you're out there! But I'm lost! I'm so confused! Where am I? Uh... Oh, okay. Alright, I know where I am now. Okay. So I gotta go over here. So I gotta find the road. There we go. Okay, so I'm on the road back. Oh my god. Whoa! I- Whoa! 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 I saw- I keep on seeing barely! Oh god! <gasps> what the crap? What the crap? What? It was you. Ah! Oh, you're creepy. Oh, you got no, 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 no. Ah! Oh! Ah! Jack, you... ah! Oh God! What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I decide that this was a good idea? WHY DID I THINK THAT THIS WAS A SMART MOVE?! THIS IS A DUMB MOVE! BUT NO! I GOTTA MAKE SURE THAT I GOT EVERYTHING DONE! I don't think that thing was really attacking me, nor was I hurting it, so I wonder if it's... just... a scaring ghost and nothing more. Oh, God! Oh, God! Hey, Kagura! Yes? Hey, why don't you head down to the city by yourself when it's dark? With all the ghosts flying around! That's a good idea! What do you think? Yeah, I agree! That's probably the best idea I could ever do! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not really seeing that ghost anymore. I guess it was just over there in the whole garden area, I suppose, and it got darker. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, man. I am genuinely terrified, guys. Holy shit. What's that? Oh, that's just dust falling. <laughs> I'm actually nearing the exit. There's the arch right there. My heart's beating. <gasps> I hear something. Where are you? <gasps> there you are! Gotcha! Bring it on! Whoa! Where'd you go? Oh, that's right, it's like Fatal Frame. Take a picture of them and they disappear and appear somewhere. Ah, hi there! Okay. This is familiar. This is familiar. This is just like Fatal Frame. OH GOD! WHAT IS THAT?!
Oh god! Okay, so you're kind of whoa, 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 whoa. That is freaky, man. That is freaky. Who's he? Oh, higher! Jeez, how many shots do you need? Did I get you? Yeah, I got you. Oh boy. Anything else? Whoa, what the crap was that? I just got hit by a motorcycle ghost. You serious, man? Motorcycle ghost. All right. Last thing I saw was that if I try to go back to the car, there's going to be some creepy noises and a very obvious thing that's going to block my path, but it didn't say what. But I need to take a picture of it. For... I don't know, what whatever reason, just gotta take a picture. This is even creepier than the road. Hello? What is that? What is the- <gasps> Why am I going closer? Why am I doing this? Oh, sweet, merciful crap. I think that's the thing it was telling me about. Holy crap! I took a picture of it. Oh, hi there! Taking pictures does nothing. Do I need to get closer to this thing? Do I seriously need to get closer? It just said that I needed to take a picture of it. <laughs> ah, get it! Go speedy updated. How nice. I'm glad that it updated after the fact that I got killed. Alright, this is from what I understand. This is what's called purgatory. This is the game's... Um, death punishment. The more times you die, the longer it takes you to get out. It's kind of dumb, considering you basically have infinite lives. It just takes you longer to get back into the game. A red vignette indicates that a supernatural entity is nearby. Oh, God! Okay, I already took my picture of you, Mr. Creepy! Oh, freaking God! Glad, I'm, I'm at least glad to know that you're not just, you know, chasing after me. Because, holy crap. Holy crap. That is terrifying. I think the fact that it's not doing anything is what makes it even creepier. It's like literally just sitting there watching me. Ugh. Alright, so that's apparently... Besides that motorcycle ghost, that's pretty much it as far as the secrets in this area. Now I can actually go to the main game. Holy crap! Alright. From what I understand, I need to just keep walking, hope for that thing to show up, and take a snapshot of it. Gotcha! Ha ha ha! And he crashed and burned. I'm getting all these ghostpedias. Let's check them out. Uh, 
controls are kind of wonky. Let's see. Puck. Hey, it's what that, uh, it's what she said. It was dressed like a pochong or whatever it was pronounced. So, pochong and on motorcycle. I guess pochong means ghost. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, I gotta use my mouse for this. Get info. Let's see. Pochong on motorcycle. The unlucky winner of a local motorcycle raffle. When the news was announced on the radio, he became overexcited and had a heart attack. Oh, jeez. When his dream of having a motorcycle unfulfilled, he is left roaming the earth as a wandering spirit. Ooh. Young Genderuo. Whoa, is that guy? Okay, wait, that's a young guy? Young Genderuo or whatever it's pronounced? Uh, Genderuo in its younger stage? God damn, I wonder what the older stage is. These dark and gigantic creatures are sometimes kept as guardians by someone who wields the power to control them. So, he's basically guarding the exit. Ugh, oh, he's creepy. Kuntalanak. Oh, it's the girl! Once a beautiful woman, she was brutally raped by her landlord. Ugh. After she was found to be pregnant, the locals condemned her and buried her alive? What?! How dare you be raped? You're getting buried alive! This makes no sense. Her vengeful spirit seeks to punish all men and their families. Why just us guys? Not all of us are rapists, you know. Items such as scissors, knives, and nails are sometimes considered as uh, Kuntalenak, uh, well, however you pronounce it, repellent. So scissors, knives, so manly tools! So as long as I'm either a carpenter or a barber, I'm safe. And Pochon. So that's the guys that I was fighting at the start. Basically, cadavers. Ghosts, regular ghost cadavers, I suppose. Bound bodies. It is said that when a person is left tied up in their burial shroud, a death they will be doomed to roam the... Wait. In death, they will be doomed to roam the earth. They desperately plead for their bindings to be removed so they can continue their journey unhindered. Since their feet are tied together, typically they can only be uh, they can only get around by hopping. Well, the guys that were fighting weren't hopping around, and they certainly weren't asking me to free them from their chains or whatever. All right, I believe that's pretty much it. If nothing happens, I'm just gonna fast forward to the, uh, to the school. If something does happen, I'm gonna keep this going. Ah! I did not! No, no! Whoa! There's two of them! Oh god! <laughs> okay, as I thought. Okay. So those things. All right. Okay. Those things are harmless. There's multiple of them. They're just wandering spirits. That look creepy as all hell. Oh, man. Ah! Oh, there's one. Okay. Okay, yes, they're just wandering spirits. Okay. They pose no threat. I can't hurt them. They can't hurt me. They're just creepy. Why is that highlighted? Is there something over here? Nope, can't go in. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward. If there's anything else, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just show it. But uh, if there's nothing, then I'm gonna fast forward. Oh, boy. This is creepy.